we've got more troops potentially in Washington, D.C. now to protect this environment than we have um, in Afghanistan and, and, and have it in Iraq. Preparations are already underway at the Capitol ahead of next week's inauguration ceremony. Additional fencing was put up today around the perimeter of the building. By this time next week, we're told up to 15,000 troops could be in D.C. for the inauguration. Retired Army Major Mike Lyons says those soldiers will serve in conjunction with Secret Service, MPD, and Capitol Police. So it'll be a highly coordinated effort. You'll see the Secret Service taking charge of the event itself. And anywhere near where the president-elect and uh, any of those VIPs will be, they'll be responsible for that. Lyons expects that the security effort will be concentrated at and around the Capitol, but extend for miles across the district. But what you'll see is security in concentric circles, so to speak, and cordons and different layers. And you'll have different types of security in each of those layers. He says the first layer of security will likely be contained in a 500 yard perimeter around the Capitol and consist mainly of Secret Service agents. You'll see the highest concentration of, of officers, of which that would be in the thousands. The next perimeter, he believes, will be anywhere from 200 to 300 yards away. The D.C. police, Capitol Police, and even the military, the National Guard units that have been deployed, will be likely on the outer edges of those security perimeters, handling things like traffic, handling things like crowd control. And while some troops may be bringing guns and tactical gear with them, he says the soldiers won't be using them unless authorized, which as of now, they aren't. The rule called posse comitatus, which basically says that the military is not allowed to be used inside the borders of the United States for these kinds of situations. Lyons says the rule is in place to make sure that we don't have a military coup. So who has the authority to activate the National Guard with guns and tactical gear? This particular situation, the mayor of D.C. would have to make requests to governors of uh, the surrounding states. But it's important that it all goes through the Department of Defense and they recognize and they're coordinating what exactly the military is going to be doing.